The conversation stopped as soon as the woman they had come for arrived. They watched Nicola Tanner's car slow, stop, then reverse expertly into a parking space a few houses down from her own. They watched the woman get out and retrieve something from the boot. They held their breath as she locked the car with a remote and began walking towards her house, saw her lit for a second or two as she passed beneath a street lamp. One of them said it was a good thing she was carrying bags. The other one asked why it was good and was told it was good because she'd be distracted. Their whispered breaths were briefly visible, eyes on the woman as she stepped to avoid a slick of leaves on the pavement and hitched her shoulder bag a little higher. They moved out of the shadows and across the road as the woman turned onto her front path, quickly, but not too quickly, trying to time it right, heads down and hooded, ready to turn and walk casually away should anyone come along, a dog walker, a nosy neighbour. Emerging from between cars, they were coming through the gate as the woman pushed in her door key, and one of them was calling out her name as she bent to pick up her bags from the step. They had the water pistols out by the time she turned round. She opened her mouth, but the words, the scream, were quickly silenced by the twin jets of bleach, and a few seconds after she staggered back, blinded, and fell into her house, they were on her. Inside. The water pistols were shoved back into pockets and the bags that had been dropped just over the threshold were kicked aside so that the door could be shut. Folders and files spilled out onto the hall carpet, a bottle of orange juice, a notebook, pens. They stood and watched as the woman spluttered and kicked out at them, inching herself across the floor towards the foot of the stairs. One of them asked the other where the woman thought she was going and the other told him that she wasn't going anywhere. The woman continued to kick and shuffle until she reached the bottom stair and tried to sit up. One hand was pressed across her face while the other clutched at the carpet. She moaned and thrashed, frantic as her eyes and mouth burned, and the scream that resurfaced was strangled by the bleach that had run down her throat. The one who had been asking all the questions said he thought she looked like a crab or something. She moved one hand from her face, gasping as she struggled to open one eye. She squinted and sobbed. Now he asked his partner if he thought the woman could see them. The woman froze when the knife was produced, as one of them moved to kneel down next to her and said that, yes, he thought she probably could. Just about. <laughs>